Hello everybody, Lord Almighty here. Today is Saturday, March 27th, 2021, and it is a gorgeous spring day today, so you know I had to come out and do some fishing. But so far this early spring, I have struggled to put catches together. The bass bite's been off, the crappie bite has been off, so I decided to change things up a little bit, and I came down here to this lake, which is loaded with pickerel. And I'm gonna see if I can't kickstart my spring by catching a few feisty slime darts. Because that's about the most reliable bite you're gonna find this time of year. Ooh! Man, I saw him turn on that. Dang it. He didn't look very big. But still, sucks to miss fish. That little pickerel playing with it right here. Little guy. He looks like a number two pencil with fins. He's still on it. He's right there. Little tiny guy. Let's see if I can bring him in closer. Ah, oh, nope, he bolted. There we go, fish on. Pickerel. Little guy. Oops. He is a slippery one. All right. All right, first fish of the day. Got him on that weightless fluke. Just twitching it along. I let it sink and all of a sudden the line started shooting out. Well guys, the bite here has been lukewarm. So I think I'm gonna head out. But there's another lake close by here that also has some pretty good pickerel fishing in it. So I think I'll head down there and see what's going on. So sit tight and I will see you in a couple of seconds. All right, here we are at spot number two and I'm gonna be throwing around the same kind of bait, only scaled down a little bit because there's a lot of pickerel in this lake but they tend to run on the small side. So if that's what's around, I wanna make sure I got the right size tackle for them. There we go, fish on. There we go, little pickerel. Oh, I barely hooked him too. Right in the bottom lip. All right. Got him on a little sluggo. When was the last time you fished with a sluggo? They were like the, the original soft jerk bait. And there have been so many other ones that have come out since then, but sluggos still work. I still got them in my tackle box. He bit me off. He bit me off. He was a little pickerel. He was like maybe that big. <sighs> well guys, in addition to pickerel, I've also gotten some swipes from sunfish. So I decided to downsize even further to a little panfish jig and I'm gonna see if that won't score me some panfish. And I know pickerel will eat these too, so it's not like I'm giving up on them. There we go, fish on. I, what did I just say? I just said pickerel eat these. Now you gotta weigh down in there. Hope I can get it out okay. Whoops.
hook is out, but he still chomped down on it. Come on, buddy. He still wants the grub and he still wants the line. <laughs> All right. He's fine. He's a little, he's a little muddy, but he'll be all right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and back he goes. God, that was the smallest pickerel I think I've ever hooked. There we go, fish on. Another little pickerel. Oh man, he choked that jig too. Again, hopefully I can get it out of him all right. Ah, all right, there we go. Another little pickerel. They are fun. Some people call them a nuisance. I call them a fun afternoon. Well, today's already been going a lot better than my most recent trips. I've been having to pretend to be satisfied with catching one or two fish per trip for the past month or so. As a matter of fact, I went fishing yesterday when it was 80 degrees out. Thought the fish would be jumping on my bait, but I only caught one crappie in about two hours. That was before the wind literally knocked me over and forced me to retreat for the day. So, glad to finally have a day where I'm getting multiple bites. There we go. Saw him charge out of a bunch of sticks to grab that. And he's just gonna snake himself right back in there, maybe. All right. Oh, oh my God. That scared the crap out of me. <laughs> wow. Look at that. That's how much line I had out when he hit it. There we go. Another pickerel. This one's a wee bit smaller than that last one. Oh, jeez. Popped right off. They've been doing that a lot today. Ugh. There we go. Seems like they've either been choking it or barely getting the hook in them. There we go, another one. There's a weed patch out here. I think these pickerel are just sitting in that weed patch, waiting for stuff to swim by. Oh, he came off on his own. Oh, and he nicked up the line. I'm gonna have to retie. When you fish for pickerel and you're not using a leader, gotta constantly check that line because they get one tooth on it and it is compromised. Oh, there we go. There we go, another little pickerel. Oh. Easy. 
easy, easy, easy. There we go. This place is loaded with those. I mean loaded. There we go. Oh, he's got a way down in there. Don't bite me off. Okay. Huh. How's this guy hooked out of here? Alright. I'm just gonna get the pliers and see if I can make heads or tails of this. Oh, he just popped right out. Well then. Guess I was worried for nothing. There we go. Well, most of the ones I've been catching lately have been right out in the middle. I thought they would have been along the shore by the sticks and weeds. But nope, they're right out in the middle. Oh boy, he's got a way down in there. There we go, got it. It wasn't in his gills, it was just way down there. But he should be all right. There we go. So I switched jig colors to see if it would make a difference. I went from chartreuse to yellow, and apparently color does not in fact make a difference. These fish are just ravenous. There we go. Ah, oh, this might be the smallest one yet. Look at that. Could use that thing for bait for some of the other pickerel I've caught today. There we go. I think this fish hit it twice. The second time it stung him. Ooh. Ah. Stop flopping around. I think that dog is upset that I caught a fish. Come on, buddy. Okay, there we go. There we go. Whew, lost count of how many I've caught it today. And that is a great problem to have. And it's something I have definitely been hoping would happen sometime this year. Oh, I don't know how, but that last pickerel must have nicked me. 
Because I better take care of that. There we go. Come on up here. All right. Oh, he bit me off. And he came unhooked all on his own. He can't wait to get back in here, I guess. Did everything he could to get away. There we go. The beat goes on. Oh, what is this? This is not a pickerel. This is a perch. I think this might be the first one of these I've caught this year. Alrighty. Something a little different. It's always welcome. There we go. Wow, he hammered it. I mean, even more so than the other ones have been hammering it. Alright. Oh, flopped right off. Let me give you a helping hand the rest of the way. Alrighty. There's another one. Out of that same spot, pretty much. Oh. Ah. And he bit me off as soon as I got him on land. Let's get that jig out of your face. Where is it? That's right there. Come on, buddy. Let me get that out of you. There we go. Back he goes. Well, guys, I could probably walk around this little backwater here until dark and catch as many pickerel as I wanted but my stomach is telling me that it's time to go home and get some dinner. So I'm gonna wrap things up right here. I, I needed a day like today. I needed to just find a ridiculous bite and catch fish after fish for a little while. It boosted my confidence, it boosted my optimism, and it's got me even more hyped for spring, if that's even possible. Nothing big today, nothing even close to big, but Man, I don't care how big they are, when a pickerel crashes the bait right at your feet, man, it is the most exciting thing in the world. Thank you all so much for joining me, and I will see you on the next adventure.